Okay, guys, um, just got done watching UFC 136, so this is the review uh, for Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard. Um, let's first start off with Melvin Gillard versus uh, Joe Lazan. Um, this fight, you know, didn't didn't last very long. Um, you know, it only lasted 47 seconds. Stand, you know, first it was on the feet, then it, you know, Gillard got taken down and got choked out, rear naked choke. In the first round, 47 seconds. That's that. Um, next fight is Leonard uh, Garcia versus Nam Fam. Um, this one basically turned out like I thought it would, guys. Um, it was kind of a, it was just a repeat of the uh, of the of the first fight. Um, you know, a guy who's a heavy, heavy-handed guy, no real technique when it comes to the stand-up, kind of like a brawler. And then you have Nam Fam, who pretty much uses a more technical. Uh, Western boxing style um, for his striking. And, you know, uh, like I said in my predictions, it was just, you know, obviously Garcia will end up, you know, not all the time, but in this fight he ended, you know, um, landed a couple of those those shots and whatnot. But in the end, after he tired out and gassed out from throwing all those heavy wild punches, he just got picked apart by Nam Fam. So, um, Nam fam wins the wins by unanimous unanimous decision, um, and uh, but it was a very entertaining fight to watch. It really was. Um, so then the next match we have is Shell Sonnen versus Brian Stan. Um, this fight happened exactly like I thought it would too. Uh, Shell Sonnen basically went out there and wrestled him to death and held him on the ground, uh, ground and pound. He just didn't give. Brian stand any chance to stand up with him. He didn't give him any chance to breathe when he was on the bottom. He just smothered this guy um, until he got what he wanted in the second round, which was uh, a submission, a, a arm triangle, and choked him out. So now we'll have Shell Sonnen versus Anderson Silva two, um, which will for me will be excellent. I can't wait to see that match because. He is the closest person right now that um, that I believe has a chance at beating Anderson Silva. Not that I want Anderson to, to lose or anything like that. I just like to see people challenged in, in fights, and I like to see good fights. And um, he is really the closest person who can really um, be a threat to Anderson Silva. So that fight, they were kind of doing a promotion, you know, showing Anderson Silva and his reaction and all this other stuff. So... Um, can't wait to see that fight. I don't know when they're going to schedule it, but it's going to happen. Guarantee, guys. And then we have the um, next fight after that, which was a championship fight. Uh, feather uh, Featherweight championship. Jose Aldo versus uh, Kitty Florian. Um, this fight basically happened, uh, you know, Kitty Florian was kind of depending on a stamina type thing. With um, Jose Aldo and everybody was, I, I saw, you know, his stamina in his last match, but like I said, it could have been contributed to um, gaining that muscle that he had that he had gained and trying to get back down to that 145. But whatever the issue was, he fixed it, and um, he didn't have any issues this time with with uh, with his cardio. And Kenny Florian was winning some rounds and whatnot, but eventually he started doing that same stuff that he was doing with his BJ match was pushing Aldo against the cage and holding him there and not really going for that takedown like he was in the first round. Um, and he kind of just started to throw lazy jabs and stuff like that and Aldo started kicking his legs and, you know, and all this other stuff. And pretty much Aldo ended up just... Um, you know, beating him up the whole after the first round, just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, and um, get him on. And then when he did, when they did go to the ground, Aldo was on top of Florian all the time. So you know how that looks to the judges. Even though Florian um, didn't allow Aldo to get in two dominant positions, he kept him off of, of the mount by just letting him only only get a a knee overpass or um, in 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 the mount, which isn't the full mount. Um, but he sometimes did get a full amount in the later rounds. Um, so Aldo got a uh, won by unanimous decision to retain his belt. Um, so 
I don't know who's going to be next, but um, I think it's one of, I forgot the guy's name, but he's one of, um, um, uh, I'm not going to even guess. I, I, I don't even know who's going to be next, to be honest with you. So let's move to the next one. We have um, light the lightweight championship, Frankie Edgar versus Gray Maynard. Um, this fight, like you said, this is the third, like I told you guys, this is the third one. Um, the first one. Uh, gray one, the second one draw, as everyone knows, the third one right now. Um, well, this fight ended up the same way it did the the second time, the second time they fought, and that is Gray threw an uppercut, and you know, and just basically, you know, running around the ring like the second time, just landing heavy blows. But this time he wasn't crazy with the punches, and what he did this time it was more technical. Landing big shots, but first he just couldn't get, you know, Frankie Edgar to, to, to lay down. He was getting hit with knees and, you know, just in just everything, just, you know, throwing right uppercuts, you know, crosses, knees and, and everything. And Frankie Edgar, I mean, his nose was just gushing blood. And he, you saw that he was on his last leg. And it, at least it looked like he was on his last leg. And, he just would not go down. And, you know, he held on until the end of the first round. Um, like he did in the second second time they fought. And then he comes back in the second round and gets back into the same steam of things like if he, like he never got hurt. I swear this guy has like mutant powers or something. Like a healing factor. Because he healed. Um, I mean, he basically got, you know, recovered extremely quick from that beating. He took a literally a beating, guys, in the first round. And then he gets in the second round, and um, he's back to normal again. You know, moving around, great movement, great footwork, head movement, everything. Um, and then, then he does the same thing in the third round. Great head movement, da 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 da, da. And then, um, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm just yelling at the screen like, Gray, Take him down. You're the better wrestler. He's all. These guys are always trying to prove that they're better than the thing that that the than their base. If you're if you've been a collegiate wrestler for Olympic style, you know, big went to the Olympics and went everything like that, and your base is wrestling, and that means you're better than ninety five percent of the guys that you go against. Why wouldn't you use your wrestling? I know you want to develop your striking. I know you want to develop all other types of things. But when it's not working for you and you're going to lose a championship bout, why don't you go for the thing that you know that you're definitely better than the other guy at? But Gray didn't do that. He let two rounds slip out. He let the second round slip out. He let the third round slip out. And then when the fourth round came out, and he got knocked out. 